Okay, no reason. So, mm-hmm. um, when you guys were talking about your ex being back stalking you, honey, and and all that, and you asked Austin as the guy in the room because it was you and Nimrat. Uh, you all should check out the Double Sided Tape podcast, by the way. Available on all DSPs. Yes, sir. Uh, Drops every Sunday wow. at midday. Yes. yes. Uh-huh. Um, so uh, you you ask Austin as the guy in the room, like, what could it mean for your ex to start, or your ex situation, to start stalking you out of the blues and mm-hmm. maybe things didn't end well? And he rushed to the only answer that was right there. He wants there. some pussy. Yeah, but I felt like that was not representative of, you know, most guys or what's happening out there. What do you think it will be? Why why, why didn't we consider an option? Like, I'm just checking up on you. Like, I just want to see how you're doing. I might not, because w- uh, if, I, if I had wanted, in, in that situation, right, if he had wanted anything to happen and he communicated it, would I, anything have I, happened? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And do you not think he knows that? He does. Exactly. Because I have said so. So do you think he wants to smash yeah, for sure. Ah, come on. For sure. Come no, on. but my, in my mind, the first thing I went to was, this bitch-ass nigga realized that he can't live without me. <laughs> no, that's the problem, because you've already looked at it like that. So no, but it's not true. He was like, other than, my heart, oh I can't do God. it without her. Now you see. Now you see you're, the you're wearing the a ring. Yeah. So we introduce ourselves, then we proceed. <laughs> Go ahead, Calvin. Thank you very much. The floor is yours. <laughs> <laughs> The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> Calvin. Calvin always late. You know, a, a couple of weeks ago, I saw a Shairi. We're meant to I be want, introducing I wanna, ourselves. I want to start like, you know how in high school we used to do Shairis? Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, in front of you is the mics are open. Ready to give you an hour almost <laughs> lasting that long <laughs> of great vibes, great energy. Thank you. My name is Calvin. My name is Ashley. Or oh, Andy Young. And uh, for my yearly visit, like a deadbeat father, it's Hafare, <laughs> aka Rodney Malik Casino, aka Mr. Metronome, aka your Come girlfriend's on. boyfriend. Come on. Good to be back. Pop, pop, pop. I, I know this, the people uh, are loving it. I know it. This is a place now we do the, the what's it called? The Katsi? <laughs> Thank Asanteni. You. Asante. Oh my God. Cool. It's Asanteni, not Asanteni. Asante. Who? That felt good. I, You're wearing a ring. I am. Also, my nails You're are not. a hot mess, so I don't want y'all niggas to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me. You're not. I don't think I'd ever wear a ring. <gasps> oh, and he's wearing like a ring, too. Like, it's rings. not my thing. Yeah. Hafari, do you have any rings? Would you, are you comfortable with, like, rings? Uh, yeah, like, one or two, maybe. Uh. Like, I don't want to look like a donda. Oh. <laughs> wow. You know, funny enough. What's a donda? Uh, actually, 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 when you live, like I feel like you live in a place where <laughs> if, the, if you yes, get Ashley. if you step in a matatu, you are running at risk of getting tetanus because everything is so rusted. I feel like you live in a place like that, and that's a good thing. I it is a good thing. Only, matatus like that only exist in rich people places. <laughs> Wow. That's wow. true, actually. Yeah. Wait, yeah, are you yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, say yeah. the most broken down matatus? Have you, have you watched? Have you watched? Uh, is it number Rhodes. number the ones for uh, Karen? Yeah. The ones that stopped by like Naboka. stage twelve bombers? Those ones. Yes. <laughs> those matris are old. <laughs> Man, you don't even have you ever had even anybody talk about them, Mati? You know how you talk to like guys in Buru? They're like, I used to be at the stage waiting for this like matri. Karen guys. Wait, they're, they're, but they're I've seen I've it. seen there's one called Killerton. Kill it, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kill it. Is that a bus? So it's it's a bus, right? It's a no, circle. it's a circle. Oh. It's a route, basically. <laughs> hey, 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 guys! <laughs> yeah, let's see, I'm let's <laughs> rescue her. <laughs> Moving on swiftly. But you know, honestly, I have actually never worn a ring, ever, 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 ever. Just Is like it? who, Chris Paul. Ooh, mm. are we fuck ready Chris to Paul go basketball, fuck, fuck man? Chris Paul. Oh, so that, that was a basketball joke, joke. reference. Uh, Chris Paul on uh, Clippers, he's never won a ring. He's yeah, never won a ring anywhere. Trying. That's true. Yeah. Chris Paul. So for me, why I've never won a ring, I've never worn earrings as well. I don't have tattoos. Is because of my mother. She really like instilled all of that fear of God. Even literally. rings. Yeah, yeah. She was just what did like, rings, rings do to you? She was just like, don't wear no rings. They're bits. Yeah. Okay, I like I, my I rings. They're my signature. 
you know, my mom's like, she was very traditional in that aspect. And right? now she still has that um, hold on you. I don't, like, rings are just not an accessory for me. Oh, like, I see G them, wear bro. a ring, I see you wear a ring, you're wearing a ring. He said rings. he wears ring. It's if you see how far in the club, man, you know. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I have a different like story about jewelry because uh, growing up, we grew up in Lamu. My, oh so, no fucking way a, a bit of my child was spent in Lamu so mm. like coastal culture is uh. very big on jewelry mm. um, women are given like chains gold necklaces all that stuff rings and then I came to find out that it's actually like a store of value uh. because if you ever divorce your husband they, they'll take everything but they'll leave you with the gold and the shit so oh, you can actually go shit. sell that you know, it's, it's the same thing like uh, the same story in American Gangster when the um, you guys have watched American Gangster yeah when, like when the cops raid the house right he, um, Denzel tells the wife mm. wear all of the jewelry because mm, yeah. the FBI can't take it off of you. Yeah. Mm. You get? Mm. Yeah. So like she's wearing like her big, um, what are those, you know, jackets called? The, 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 the far, far, far coats. Yeah, coat. yeah, I found that interesting now that you mention it. Yeah, After you umepeo talaka. Umepeo talaka like because now the, the husband stays with everything. Saukienda, you go with your rings and like the things you are given on your wedding night. Uh. You Kaizo. That's what you use to start your new life because you can oh, just wow. go pawn it off and start over again. Interesting. I've learned. So, yo, let me ask you. Wow. I'm so fascinated. Mm -hmm. You've just mentioned Lamu. So like Shella or Down Down Lamu? Um, not like it's it's like Old Town, like close to Old Town. Yeah. We had like we used to live on the beach. I don't know what my dad did. He did uh. some some weird shit, and then we had to leave in the middle <laughs> of the night like some ghost. But it was fun when I was a kid. I remember just running through the little the streets, yeah, like eating whatever matobosha uh. and mahamri, all the all the little things. So like a lot of even the way my mom cooks, even the music we listen to, it's mm. very Swahili, Arab uh. inspired. So it, it's fun. Because the, I, end, I, game, I, the I, end goal is to go back uh, to yeah, retire, yeah, yeah. basically. You know why I'm so fascinated by it? Like now, because um, I've been to Lamul enough times right and it's always so fascinating especially like if you go through like the town go to like the different heritage sites because they've got some UNE mm -hmm. unesco heritage sites it's one of those places like someone says i'm from shags yeah they can be from shags mm. and come to Nai. but someone telling you yo i lived in lamu and came to, to is different yeah. sounds different it's yeah. different yeah yo you had like that's so fascinating. Man. <laughs> we found to, respect, bro. The, the goal is to go back, man. I just want to go back and, you know, scam white people. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's the thing, man. <laughs> Reparation. <laughs> 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 my oh my God. It's so beautiful here in Lamu. We are staying at the, what's no the name of this house? Like, get yeah, an Airbnb yeah, yeah, yeah. and charge them an exorbitant amount. Ah. All you have to do is just get an IG influencer and give them a free stay. Yeah. And you're set for life. And you're good. That's it. You're good. Patricia Kioto hit me up. I have a but plan. Op open another, <laughs> open a new floating bar or something. She was just chilling. <laughs> I swear. Because in Lamu, they've got that kind of floating bar, which is like, it's a proper local. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Yeah. It's really dope, man. Yeah. All Coast, right. Coastal culture is fun, man. Like La Mokilifi, the whole stretch. It's really good. I was in Kilifi this past weekend and the last weekend. Did they starve you? No. Oh. <laughs> No, guys. <laughs> now let's talk about it. Like it's something that's actually Yo, happening. Yeah, let's talk about it. That was a tenuous link. Which is what? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Let Hold me on. pick Hold it. On. Because I'm a gentleman. Now, <laughs> since we're, we're talking about that, actually, the last tweet while you guys were talking about, um, you know, her ex boyfriend and stuff was the how many bank accounts did uh, this does this pastor have? The two parts. 25. Mackenzie so talking, or the other one? I'm talking about, um, uh, what's this guy? The, not the, 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 the one with the Ezekiel. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah Ezekiel, Ezekiel, right? Mackenzie, yeah. Yo, he's got 25 bank accounts. And one of the bank accounts has 337 million. Jesus Christ. Look at all of that. Like different accounts, right? Different mm -hmm. accounts. Fam, look at that. One account has 337. So... You know the accounts have been frozen, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, there's that whole story to do with that. They want to shut down the charts and everything. And today he's just made a statement and said, "Listen, guys, continue depositing money that. into the bank accounts <laughs> even if they're frozen." He's Damn. Saying, That's like, wild. Even if they're frozen, the only thing I can't do is, is take money take out. out. Yeah. But you guys can put in. In fact, put in even more. <laughs> Scare them. Watch do it. Let them see that it's by Damn. the power of faith that I am getting all of this. And it's like, wow, that's the ultimate scam, Mazi. Wow. I love it. That's a lot of bread. Damn. Mm. 
Wow. The ultimate miracle. <laughs> bread and <laughs> bread and fish. Well, <laughs> you know, pata kidogo two two fishes, five loaves of bread, you You're know, good. feed the whole crowd. You know, you know the other day I was talking to a friend of mine and I said I actually want to go to Pastor Nganga's church one of these weekends. Mm. And I know they have a TV channel. I was mm. like, okay, that would be dope to watch, but it's not the actual thing. Bro, I watched a clip of him on TikTok saying, "Una jo kwenye mimi He's selling that to yeah, the yeah, flock. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I was like, bro, this nigga is the one. Ah, he's, he's like, ati, ati uko kwenye kwenye mnaishu uko kawangware. Uh, he was selling the flock that. You know, it's wild how, like, you see people, the people who are now staunch, is that the word? Staunch, staunch followers yeah. are, you know, less fortunate. And then your pastor is over here driving a Range Rover, living in Runda or Nyari or whatever. Like, he's living his best life. But he's still the one who's telling you to give money. But you see, here's the thing. It's a pro- prosperity ministry. How can you, just like Jay-Z said, I can't what? I can't um, to the poor if I'm one of them. You can't I, give I, to the I, poor I if you're, you're one saying, of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jay-Z but, has a line where he says, I can't, is it give to the poor if I'm one of them or so something like that? So you need to see my wealth so that you can exactly. also be... Yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's a prosperity ministry, a <clears throat> ministry, right? It's what they've done over and over. True. Like, it's just a human Scam. thing. Do you really think, me, I'm going to come to your church for you to preach to me and tell you, oh, uh, things are going to be okay if, bro... Your, your, come, your shit your, is not okay. You've been dropped by a kanini, <laughs> by a, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm kokoteni down the road. Nah, Hell no. Nobody respects a pastor in an uber chap chap. <laughs> Let's be real. That's no true. Respect the pastor and Uber Chapter. No, I'm man. not gonna lie. When when I was in high school in Ukambani, man, you know on Sundays now during service they used to bring some guest, guest pastors. pastors. Yeah, bro, hey, those guys no struggle, man. <laughs> 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 You're like Mando Mando used to pull up dusty oh, no. you know I'm a sweat kuna mwenye amekuja na bike yake kuna mwenye amekuja na nduzi and you know you have to respect it man you're yeah. like you know what yeah I, this is someone i can mess with cuz and elewa struggle here yeah. this guy preaches to me uh, he knows what he's talking about so I, i have to give mad props to those ones awe ngine Yeah, I, I see how that can sell differently on this urban side. Because if they see you pull up again in Anuba Chap Chap or on Anduzi, I mean, come on, man. You're not aspiring to be But them. But here's the so thing. Why, why Even in the, on the basis of, let's say, Christianity, the whole point of Christianity is like worship God and be successful. Sindio. So if you are in the congregation and your pastor is telling you that you can be as successful as me, no, I, that I, you can have all this and all that, mm. and you see it and they tell you, I am like um, the messenger of God. Give to me and help me spread the word and then God will also reward you, you tenfold. Mm. It makes sense when you think about it like that. <clears throat> and for a lot of people who are that faithful, who are into the faith like that, they don't really see it as anything else other than just continuing what the ministry says they need to do. Yeah. That's why I don't really judge people who give. I just try to tell them like, yo, as in at some point you'll have Reason. to reconsider mm. how you're giving. Because I saw guys on Twitter saying, like you're sending your mom cash, Like, here's some money for go do some shopping. And they're sending all that cash straight yeah. to yeah. Pastor Ezekiel. And you're mm. like, at some point, you have to consider that. End up buying a Mako shopping. You, do, you mm. stop giving them cash yeah, yeah, or something true, like true. that. Fair point. Mm. They pray on them. How will go, Sam? No, Nilipwana Sema, I think I look at it differently. The church is not selling at the Christ and prosperity. If anything, it's selling Christ and struggle. Mm. Because... Why else are you going to look for your last buck and take it to church? It's because there's somewhere in that word in the, in the holy book that it says, you know, there's a percentage you have to give to the man of God. Mm-hmm. Because even Mickey Tambo, you know, I used to ask myself, "Itaith, itaith inafikia Mungu waje?" You know, I used to ask myself that because I'm going to give that 10% to the pasi, right? Mm. But the Bible tells me this is this is 10% for God. So I used to ask me, what kind of intermediary are you? Nikikupate hii pesa, itafikia. Itafikia the guy whatever, upstairs. Yeah. So later on, when you come to understand the deeper meanings, the deeper interpretations of all these things, Dona Kamkuteki enyewe, we were sold the struggle life and it was glorified to a point where you even sometimes want it and you shy away from things that can even bring you some money. Mm. You know, things that... If they look at you, they'll be like, oh, umeanza kupenda pesa sasa, oh, you know, you don't want to be looked at like that. You want people to look at you in some sort of reverence. But, and but, you no, know, it's interesting that you mentioned that, right? Mm. And uh, uh, really, after what we spoke about the, po- the, the Bible in the previous episode, yeah, thinking about it, right? Especially the New Testament and maybe qu- quite a bit of the Old Testament, the Bible is actually very poor. 
Yeah, like the Bible do you is remember? Weird. Yeah, the Bible is very weird. Very actually. weird. Because you notice there's a lot of glorification of being poor. Yes, like, you notice that, right? So that's what most of the pastors <laughs> use, and I think people don't really take it and mm. you know really kind of unlook it and understand, right? So pastors are like, yo, okay, you see, like Christ, he was in the desert. Did you ever hear uh, Christ like, oh, at this five-bedroom crib? No! Leave alone even that. When he was sending out his disciples to go and spread the gospel, he was like, don't take more than you need. Mm. You need to keep your limited yeah. amount of what. They, they didn't offer have no you- party, eh? <laughs> for the yo, missions, you know, they pay me, bro. Like, think this about is the government for like, a Think about it. If you were a disciple, though, like you're Judas, bro, you've been told, fam, my nigga, you gotta that go. You gotta go all the way to Lamu. Like, there's a part <laughs> where you have to get on a boat, or if you go yeah. by a road, this far. You're like. Man, <laughs> they need per DM, they need risk allowance because you're going to preach to people who've never had anything. Yeah, yeah. so you guys might kill you. Exactly. <laughs> you need a risk allowance, you need transport allowance because them donkeys ain't gonna pay for themselves. I know, right? <laughs> but here's the thing: I feel like I feel like Jesus, Jesus was like uh, not a good employer. Like those guys were on the longest internship. They never had no promotion. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, they're just disciples. They got promoted yeah. after he died. But, but no, but, but there was no senior disciple. Yeah. There was no yeah. executive disciple. They were, they, were, they were favorites. They were, they, those bro, are fa- you those haven't given me a know. title. What, what on your natural disciples? Simon so Peter. Oh, oh, yeah. Simon Peter was like, he was like, yo, he was like the prefect or something. Yeah, he was Simon, like John, junior John Jesus. Like the John? BFF. Uh, Simon Peter, of course, I look And then the ladies, you can't forget the ladies. Bro, <laughs> Magdalene. Oh, 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 Magdalene. Oh, oh, you can, you so, can't forget so who was the, not. Who was like the ladies' man for the of the disciples? Who was like yo? God, uh, Jesus. It was Christ, of course. That guy washed. He was washed with perfume. Man, are you kidding me? With a babe's hair. Basically, Jesus was like like a, a top a top dog at USIU. You just have niggas following <laughs> wow. you and you have all the babes. Like, <laughs> we'll basically, follow. like you have yo, just a bunch of hangers Christ on. Yes, man. The and then you have all the babes. Man, you know, you know, you know. I love watching all of this stuff about like um, top G. Uh, and rotate and everything and all of this the, all of this like you know if you're t- if you're posing for pictures you gotta do all of this it represents power yeah. and shit then sitting like this <laughs> like this yeah. like oh my god so the other day I had a, a very what do you call it a very formal photo shoot you know like those ones for LinkedIn and everything and I remember one of my homies was like so I'm very awkward when it comes to photo shoots right so this guy's like Yo, you need to do that gang sign that it represents <laughs> power <laughs> I was like, Tell me you no. did it. Hell oh, no. On. Imagine a potential employer looking at you and they're just like... <laughs> They'll be like, oh, that's the Andrew the code. Shit. Yeah, we need that guy. That's, oh, that's the code. Have you seen how successful them niggas are? That's bro? the power code. Huh? But, but I'm curious because because you're one of those guys who you know reads a lot. I see your comments on Twitter and everything. Mm-hmm. This whole story to do with Andrew Tate. What's your vibe on all of it? Nah, Andrew Tate's like he's he's smart enough to understand he can scam niggas who are not smart. Mm. That's it. That's all you have to be like. As long as you're smart enough to know that niggas are dumb. Yeah. And they just need a bit of direction. Like they just need somebody to tell them like, hey, just be a man just don't do this don't do that yeah and you can like it's the same thing with Amerix, same thing with jordan mm. peterson it's a grift and i can't knock it by the way like if you're getting paid off other people's stupidity more really? power yes. to you man more, more power to you man yeah i i can't hate on andrew tate i i don't really agree with anything he says because there's some really weird shit anything but but some things he says actually yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah, some point, i man, think then. the problem with him is his tone his tone and his delivery like I I would say yes. Then he says some dumb shit, and I'm just like, yeah. Maybe <laughs> you lost me. You, I mean, the first half. <laughs> immediately, no. I want to ask you know? something, Ashley. Ask whatever, me. whatever you agree with, anything he says that you agree with, is it anything profound or is it just something you would have figured out by yourself? No, you already know. Yeah, this that's is the sh- thing. This is he, shit. He just you know. affirms some stuff. Yeah, he affirms things. Yeah. You're just like, oh, so there's someone who thinks like me, and also as a babe, I think there are a lot of things that we can take away from him, but we don't want. Don't cancel me, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> We will take away from him, but it's the way he says it in such a demeaning manner that you're just like, I'm, I can't listen to this guy. Because mm. he basically talks about self-respect, mm-hmm. how niggas treat pe- w- women badly, um, how you shouldn't settle for less. A lot of the things he says make sense. Oh, I think Delivery I have, a, I have agreed with him twice on only two things. One time he said, let corruption work for you. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. That, yeah. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> let corruption work for you. <laughs> Because corruption can't just work for the rich people. If everybody's corrupt, let it work for me too. And then one time he made like a very strong pro-trans statement mm. that I, I don't think a lot of people understood. He was saying like, if you uh, had to choose 
and whether to have sex with a trans babe who looks like Megan Megan Fox mm. but with a dick or choose like a, a babe who looks like somebody who plays rugby <laughs> like really big with the <laughs> hair and everything is that? so he was like he would sleep with the like the trans babe because again it's just Megan Fox with a dick <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, yeah, this is this is a very convoluted way to make a very pro-trans statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he, he does say some. I watched a clip of him. I think sometime this week, right? Oh man, um, I think he was on TikTok. I, I don't know whether TikTok or Instagram. One. So he says, if you're a lady and you're going out uh, on a date, right? Probably have like a a wallpaper of like you know a gear shift or a very expensive car, you know, the whole console and everything. And then have this guy start to kind of get insecure that there's a guy <laughs> out there who's able to like provide all of these things. When you go to the restaurant, I order the most expensive like meals, champagne, all of that. So this guy, because uh, of how insecure he is, yep. will now start to do, do more the most. to be able to like... Uh, give you that kind of vibe. See, and I was like, hmm. Basically what he's doing, he's telling you how to manipulate people into doing what you want them to do. But why must it be a game? Why must it be manipulation? Exactly. Why can't you just go for a date work. because you like somebody yeah. and have a good time and then decide after the date whether or not you're going to do something more with this person? The whole point of... You're just going I to get paid. Be, do not go for the free meal. Bro, like, but, but yeah. fam, I'm not I feel, your free I feel, meal. Well, I feel like you guys are living... <laughs> I am not your free this, meal. This, this, is, not, this is not Nairobi in like 1980, bro. This city is rough. But you can choose not to participate in all these things. You can choose yeah, to actually yeah. find somebody... Yo, the but cycle has to stop at some point, bro. It does, but unfortunately, the position we are at and I see it every single day on social media niggas is getting used women are getting used simple if you use me I might as well use you yeah like yo Nairobi when they said this Uh, thing is like that you know that uh, don't be a prophet of no what do you call that I know I know there's there's, senior there's sober people out there (laughs) (laughs) like Trasha senior or something yeah but but maybe maybe beans are not excited Ex- for you but for me nigga exactly <laughs> <laughs> that's that shit I, I am with you by the end like yeah, yeah but, but for me like for your senior city like you do kubamba here's the thing like i look at instagram not not instagram i just look at some of the conversations on twitter twitter is is like it's a marketplace eh let's just call it mm-hmm. that and so every cool. and and weird enough you know in school they used to tell you every not even in school they say every marketplace has its mad people mm. but i feel like this is all mad people in one market. In one market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like it's that way, right? Because, man, I see some of the <clears throat> standards that have been set. Women saying, oh, i got to do this. Guys saying, oh, i got to do this. What, what, what? It's mad. But that said, I saw something the other day that was um, elicited quite a conversation. You saw the guy who was like, yo, listen, I don't have money to take you out on a date, but I'd like for us to go to what and what gardens. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you garden. can pay the meal. <laughs> And after that, we can go back to my house and like do movies, and I can sort you out, bro. That guy tried. <laughs> how? how did, see, I haven't seen that. Did it? Yeah, like, like did it she, go well? I, I think the babe did, did actually. Yes. Did, did she go for the date? I don't think because she's. Did. The, I think she's the one who posted up the screenshot. Yes. Right? Yeah, she was like, "Yo, this guy was like being sincere. I ain't got no money." And that's the thing. If you're honest outrightly, then that's not a problem. But see, a lot of men try to, you know, thump their chest initially so that they can put the best foot forward. Don't do that. If you can't, if you can't afford something, just let me know you can't afford it. And then they and take a screenshot and go post it up on Twitter. Well, yeah. And then now we come and Trust talk me. about it Be on an the honest, podcast. Be Like, take it from it's me. It true. works. It works. It works. It's like, like, yo, but, but, we'll but have a little picnic. Cycle. I can even cook for you. Okay, no. I lie. I, I but isn't that like prostitution to an element? The way he phrased it and said that we can go back and I can kind of sort you out. Well, we're here for one reason, clear. Yeah, like if you're going to smash <laughs> him then, might as well get a meal. <laughs> like, hey, if I'm going to smash him then, might as well get a meal. I want some lobster tails. That, that thread of messages sounded very transactional, right? So I ain't got no money. Go, you pay for the meals. Cool, everybody's got to eat and uh, everything. So he's the hoe. Then he's like, yo, <laughs> we can go back to my digs and I can kind of like, yeah, yo, I can give you the slammer. You know what I mean? I can lock you up. You feel me? the guy. We're trying, exactly. Yo, but, but but also, here's the thing. 
ain't it shameful mm. for guys who are broke who are trying to do the same kind of thing? Everybody's been broke. Guys go be, go through broke mm-hmm. uh, seasons in mm-hmm. life, right? Yeah. And that happens, male, female. But I felt bad for that guy having to go on social media mm. and see that message. What does it say? Uh, it says more about the baby. The wrong it, 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 it says more about the baby than the guy because the guy was being sincerely honest. Like, mm. hey, I ain't got shit, but if you want, like, I would love us to go do something and yeah. then we can go afterwards and do some other thing. And next time, I'll be the one when I'm when I'm set up when I'm good. I'll be the one taking you out, because that's fine. Yeah. I I've been with women. I've told like yo like they want to do something. I'm like yo um this week Nicochini, I don't have cash. And I like, should no. be in. Yeah, and they were like no you you come through me. I'll sort it out. And then when I when I'm good, I'll be like hey why don't I take you out this time? The problem isn't the dude. The dude was being honest. The babe was like now she's looking for internet points of a nice mm-hmm. dude. Jeez. A and a loser. therein lies the problem. If I become honest, I'm going to content. Like, can you imagine? And here we are. Fun, yo, bro. Fam, <laughs> you'll end up listen, on a podcast. Here's the thing. <laughs> if, if she turns around and she sends you that message like, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I was just trying to get like, see what people would respond. I was trying to see Wagwan, what's the universe saying to me? Would you actually go on a date with her after that? After that, no. you have showed me everything I need to see. I'm not going back to you. I but don't need that in my life. What if when you met her, she was already very expressive on, on Twitter? Like, she'll post a lot of the things that she's up to or she's doing on Twitter. Then I'll blame myself for being a bad scout. And that, that's always my point. Because I see babes complaining every day. Wow. Oh, niggas, this, niggas, that. Even niggas complaining. Your oh, selection this is shit. You are a bad scout. You need uh, to be a good scout. Sit down, like, scout, like, and you know, have your analyze. report. Have the scouts report. Jeez. You know, like so I can name understand. enough basketball players. <laughs> <laughs> you have your prospects, first pick, second pick, third pick. So that by the time you land on someone, you know, okay. I'll only have myself to blame if this doesn't work mm. out. Let it get me by surprise because there's those things that get us by surprise True. sometimes, you know. And you, you, you have to cut yourself some slack because you'll, you'll be like, there's no way I saw this coming. No one could have seen this coming. But where you could have helped, the red flags you could have, you know, done something about, you only have yourself to blame. But, do, you know, but do people really care about red flags? That shit is like hey, traffic you lights. Don't? Oh, I bro, do. Hey, I, do. Like that, I do. Hey, I, I do. do. When you walk kind of red flags at this banner, honestly, by the way, when I say, fam, I'm not in there like that, I'm not. No, if I see something that I don't like and I don't want to put up with, I'm done. I'm good. Like what? Like if it doesn't serve me, one yeah. of them, I'm good. One of the most basic I don't red flags. Judge you for being like you. just kindness. If you're not, if you're just like somebody who's mean for no reason to people who don't even deserve it. Have you ever been to like somewhere to a, you go to a restaurant with somebody? Mm. Even not even just babes, just like even a friend, a guy, somebody you know, a coworker, mm. and they start talking to the staff like sideways. That's <laughs> a very big red flag. True. Like you don't you have to meet people like that. Yeah, don't do that shit. <laughs> That's James and even... Patrick meme. <laughs> <laughs> but no, me, I get what you're talking about. Say you haven't even met the babe. So I'm basing this off of probably what I have seen on social media. So me if and I keep telling even uh, Kina Ashley these things, like your captions, your tweets. What are you talking about? Are you bashing men every day? Are you just gassing yourself 24-7? Or, you know, you understand that you look good and everything, but keep it humble. Do you look hey! good without your makeup? Bro, you know, bro, bro. I I'm, I'm telling you, bro, I like I need to go through these uh, things before it gets to bro, that point. Me, my red <laughs> flags are so simple, but are you are you picking up <laughs> the plate after me? Or <laughs> no, no? Wow. Are you gonna wash me if <laughs> my like you know, you know how my arms are, you gonna are built? Wash me? Like I can't figure out a place over there. Your arms are built. <laughs> if you don't, if you can't wash me, red flag. I return you to your mother. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Wait, but what? Before you get to that point, uh, Uti, okay. Uh, before you get to the point where she's actually seeing you booty naked in the shower, wiping your back. Yeah. What are the, what flags? Oh what God. flags come up? <laughs> We're talking about before you initiate this thing. Ah, uh, okay. So you know when the restaurant we when you're figured, cutting. Yeah, we figure at the restaurant I'm like, hey, let me take you to the cinemas. Like, let's go watch a movie. Mm-hmm. Like, I like Jordan, right? Air's showing right now. Mm-hmm. We figure Westgate. I wait, you, wait, wait. Are you wearing black Air Force Ones? At this point, yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's that's the problem. Red you flag. Do you red like activity? Red, 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 red flag. Red flag. flag. <laughs> to make up a Westgate. I love you. You've you've come and you've not kneeled down and said, "Your Majesty, I'm here." <laughs> 
Sebo. <laughs> Sebo. <laughs> Someone take I'm him here. to an episode of Bridgeton. <laughs> no, no, no. no, I just want to say something. <laughs> I just want to reference something you said. Like um, women who bash men on social media, they will either be very, very gay or they will ride you harder than a rodeo bull. <laughs> it, there's no in between. <laughs> Hey, like women who spend time like research. okay women who spend time like bashing men constantly mm. are either like the biggest simps too yes either in private or, mm. Mm. No so, so it's like you've conducted this is based upon research yes oh good stuff <laughs> i've been in enough dms shoot us shoot so afari you're like america i saw yesterday an article said that america essentially has had shootings every day this year oh my God. so you you're that kind of guy Bro, Mass shooting. Like, <laughs> I won't go DM. But here's the thing here's the thing when you shoot 100 times and you only make 20 percent, that's a very low scoring rate but you are still scoring that's the, that's the, <laughs> that's the point that's no, the I, point I, I, I a win is a win yeah. a win is a win man <laughs> like kobe had to miss so many times for him to score yeah. as many times if as somebody's did. shooting once and shooting twice and winning once that's 50%. They they, ha- they have a higher win rate, but you have a higher but hit rate. But who are you to score yourself? <laughs> Yeah. But I feel like who are you to score yourself? You're saying twenty percent if people have responded. Yeah. Like if you're no, no, no. Walala, so no, 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 not me. respond, not respond. You're fermented me. You always get a response. Like unless Yeah, but me I'm now saying, cool. I feel like you shouldn't grade yourself. Are you spitting on his game? No, 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 no. I'm talking for the I'm talking for the girl. No, but here's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, here's the oh, thing. Oh, girl. Girl. Yeah. Girl. I'm just I'm saying the girl. I'm just saying woman say man. Come come for your hundred times. Because there's no woman in this room. A hundred times. So if you've said 100, 20%, right? Hit Which rate. I have not said response. I've said hit rate. Hit rate. Difference. Hey, okay. Hit rate. <laughs> so careful, so careful, that, is, project, that is what project, I wanted to careful. zero in on. Uh-huh. So as, a said, as a girl. As a girl. Come on, you call me girl. Right? Girlies. Oh and to these guys girl. over here saying, you know, he's pulling that old twenty percent hit rate. What, what, what? Yeah. Maybe mm. you're not even delivering these weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Maybe you now just have like a caseska over there. Do like, you want to find out? No, that's what I'm saying. You get. So I feel no, for you. Exactly. For so you. No, 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 no. I feel. But no, what I'm trying to say is, for there to be a fair evaluation, Wangari uh-huh. Mavai, Ida Odinga, my grandmother, all of these people fought for equal. Rights come for on. men and women. You come know what on. I'm saying, girl? Are you gonna drop those? There has names? to be a red card, not a red card, uh, an evaluation where Hafari says, out of that 20% heat rate, I performed like this. Pop. He's and then the you. other it's side a, has yeah. to come and rate you for you to be like, brother, I, I, I didn't know there were KPIs for casual exactly. sex. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't know there were KPIs for casual sex. Are you running an agency that we don't know about? That's the thing. For the girls, you know. My brother. For the girlies. Are you running an agency we don't know about? If you're fucking around, you just want to fuck around. But you you're not trying to get reviews. You're also trying to get reviews. Two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I saw you nasty motherfuckers. No, whole season is whole season. Exactly. Listen, whole season is whole season. Nobody cares if I if I scored 10 out of 10 yeah. in an exam. Exa- exactly. I, I smashed and I moved on. God, God For damn. me, but deep plus bad when you passing grade. Like, wait, wait, as long wait, wait, as you're wait, not wait, getting wait, a pizza. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What? You see, here's the like, thing. Like, you guys, man, how can you lower life oh, no, to I, what it's not? I have a question to ask you. I have a question to ask you. Here's the thing. When you were, when you were, in, when you were in high school, you did all these subjects, didn't you? Uh. And you, you got different grades on them. And then you focus on one. That's the whole progression. There's a, there's a tip of the pyramid. You start with 20, and then you upgrade to 10, uh. and then to 5, and then to 2, and then to 1. And then that's the person you're going to be with. Maybe you're more sexually compatible with. But at the bottom, Bado, you still hit 20. But you see, that is why... <laughs> the that point is, what, is... That is why I can tell you... In everything you, that you bro. said, that is a lot of you know. Sorry, girl, I gotta exit now. Back to my <laughs> <laughs> now. Back to my African. I'll stay strong. It's back, okay. back to my African man. There's nothing uh, about saying, oh, you say at I, I, you know, like you just use the analogy of high school, six subjects. Mm. You can progress through life with six subjects. But you but always have you, to specialize. Like you, yeah. nobody's a doctor and a mathematician and a no, computer no, no, scientist. No, 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 You know, here's the thing. Hence, why I can correctly say that I'm a tenderpreneur. I can supply many things. You know what I'm saying? Check my hand. Check my hand. I love that. 
<laughs> oh my god. That was weak. <laughs> no, 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 Like the other day they had an Apple conference because he's one of the largest shareholders of Apple, right? He's in so many different kind of things. So he's actually progressed with his six six subjects, essentially. But how heavily involved is he in in all of them? Very. Like you can actually to go the point Google where his portfolio. If you ask him a question about each and every one um, business that he he's a shareholder in, he's gonna answer it to the T. This is how it works. This is what it functions in. Ashley, that's he's, he's not fighting. To no, win. no, 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 no. But you see, I'm understand. That's, that's why I'm trying Ashley, to. I'm, Ashley, I'm trying to shake <laughs> my hand. That was a beautiful question. I'm aware. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? So we we were at we were at six, right? So there's potential to actually get more people to actually help you with your business. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you could get PAs and what have you who can now tell you, exactly. whisper in your ear, like, okay, you, you delegate. <laughs> you delegate, and that's hence. There's enough for everybody hence, to eat. It does not make sense to be a tenderpreneur <laughs> because if you have six of them and you're trying to focus on each individual, then you fuck it up. Calvin, you'll be calling. Will, will you'll, be, you'll be calling Mary, John, Jajin, and Calvin, <laughs> Betty. Will it a snake? No, no, no. Snake, 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 snake impact. Hey, we're burnt, man. Hey, we're burnt. Like you, you, you've crushed your own point, bro. Jane will be Mary. Mary will be no. Caroline. If you had gone with, I'm gonna focus <laughs> you know, on all you, of you this get, and that you, more you and know, do them myself. The, the, Maybe we'd have given you a leeway. I, 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 I am really rather, I am rather upset by you two specifically. And yeah, you, you, you got, you got the point. You got the point, right? You know, there's a day G was telling us, I think on radio, Austin probably remembers this. There used to be a guy on radio who used to have like multiple babes and everything, right? And uh, they'd all tune in. This is like before the Spotify is and heavy, all of these different kind of things. FM was it, right? <coughs> and this guy knew what's up and he knew how to make everybody feel special. That is why I can tell you've never been with a man who has many wives. No, I have and I don't mind. Many I'm wives. I'm a sharer. Well, you- wives, no. That's the thing. Hey, you're but, a sharer. Back to the point. I like sharing. Good to know. I just like being. I like honestly. <laughs> said too much. Listen, we're trying to we're trying to marry you off. Find to Leah. Best no, who only said I want to be married? We'll come back to that. So, so the guy used to actually say, you know, give shoutouts and say, hey, to you, baby. You know, come on, use those to sweetie. What, what, what? What else? Kokoa nyumba. They're just melting away, not knowing that there are twelve of them. It's like when a DJ says, "Shout out to my girl in the house." All Don't of them are are like, oh my god, I feel so special right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how DJs move. Really? Damn, I, I wouldn't know. Oh, yeah, I would this is the only DJ in the room. <laughs> yeah, you, you don't <laughs> see me using my mic when DJ. I'm DJing. <laughs> okay, <you>? fact. <laughs> but, but as a DJ, actually, now that we're getting into that, do you, do you get like chicks who come holler at you like at the deck and everything, like continuously over and over? Sometimes. Because uh. oh, actually, I've asked myself this question a couple of times, like... When you water my, cause I hear I don't know if these are stories, stories are they are for real, uh. but you hear the same things you guys hear. I've had the same things and hear them day in day out. Oh, DJs, babes, you know, flocking by you know group is flocking by the DJ booth when the DJ is done doing his thing. Like you Oh, all the girl is wanna be on him. Shorty is just trying to smash a DJ. We have a bad reputation out there because people are even afraid mm-hmm. of DJs because of these allegations. <laughs> but looking into my life, me, I'm like. Where, where where are they, bro? Well, you I see mean, that John Travolta meme, you know him looking around. Yeah, that's that's me looking for these things. That's Listen, a lie. Lipo. Listen, what, do, what do you mean it's like, a lie? I've seen. Yeah, when the smoke is fire. Yeah, I've exactly. Seen, <laughs> like, I've seen babes not flock you per se, but like almost throw their panties at you when ah, you're DJing. Wait, take My it. man, at the I live show, almost. somebody literally shoot their shot in the crowd. We were all there. We saw it. Yeah. And but that's like that's a live show. My car open. I was in DJ. No, but that's an hour. You're changing the goalposts. You know what? That's you're changing the goalposts. You know, have you guys ever watched that that video with the short person? I'm not gonna say the M word. The, the chick is twerking. Then that guy is like. <laughs> you, guys yeah, you, about <laughs> you guys haven't watched that? Nah. Okay. There's a video online. It's on TikTok mm. of this chick twerking, right? Mm. And there's a short man. I'm not going to use the M word, right? Mm. Like they're... Oh, by the DJ booth. And then because the it's DJ... shorter than the babe, yeah. they bring up no, 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 no. This is like one. a guy who's knee high. <clears throat> and then 
the chick is like, you know, mm. tall, tall. Mm. So he's so aroused, right? Mm. Like he wants to pull his pants out, oh, yeah, right? I've seen that. Yeah, so the guys yeah. yank him, him off the stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, when you said that at the live show, no, but just like, thing, my, but my wow. point is, if, if in such a situation, somebody yeah. could just blatantly shoot their shot at you like that. Mm. Imagine when people are drunk. At 3 a.m. I've but seen it. Ashley, yeah. Ashley, you have been with me I've seen it. a couple of times I've when we've been it. out. Okay, maybe you're a better it's, man it's than most DJs. That's of why you don't yes. accept it. But <laughs> not as often as we... You know, the, the impression out here is like, damn, every single time. you make a killing every night you're out here, man. Valid point. Because, okay, I'm also friends... And I kind of see it with some DJs. I have to give them props. Valid. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> but I'm also friends with a couple of DJs. Um, and they also don't go through the same thing. It's only like their friends who are going to come and say hi to them on the mm. DJ booth. And then they, they dip and then they're going to move around but other than that not many women will actually mainly in bars i'll say that oh, but have you seen babes around crowds <laughs> yo now that one <laughs> that one that one needs to be a case study me let me tell that you one needs to be as, a, as, a the, woman, the dark night. <laughs> as a woman who hangs around grouchy mainly when he's playing <laughs> Grouchy is doing our party. I need the, you. I, 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 haven't, I haven't seen Grouchy playing like uh, as much as you guys, I think. But mm. the few times I've seen him, there was one time I looked at a Dynasty babe. And I was like, wow, you know what? If you're moving with Dynasty babes, I'm like, okay, like you are. What do you mean by Dynasty babes? <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Long money, babe. Oh. Old money, dynasty. Can be so. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> like, okay. There, there was a dynasty, ah. babe, at the table. I was like, you know what? Um, game is yeah, game. This is, this, yeah, this is I mean, a bit too rich for my blood. A, a wow. game. <laughs> I can I can see how that happens, right? Yeah. Mm. But 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 um essentially you I've had the same about DJs for life. life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like that, like that. But um is that like wild over though? I think who, who, I think who, 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 who get more DJs? DJ. Who who okay, let's put it like this. Rappers in the two five four, male mm. rappers mm. or DJs, who get more pumps? Hey, Singers. Male rappers, DJ. <laughs> Singers first, singers, DJs, then rappers. What? Singers, yes. singers, okay, yes. singers. Oh, like, act, act from my rappers party. Get as homies, we're like, getting like more good than rappers. I'm a, oh, oh, for you sure. meant like in a BN. That's what no, you like, meant. Like uh, in a BN, Watenda Wheelie, Okelo Max, Vijana Baro Baro. That's oh, whole I saw Okelo Max, man. Because <laughs> Okelo Max yeah, yeah, yeah. is melting women away. Like the He's married. And yeah, he's married. Oh. Tatumia, 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 but see, women can still thirst. Have you guys ever been to a Prince Inda concert or a show? Like, yeah. right, you know, like Prince Inda, Prince Inda is, is mad. Yeah, is mad. like the babes who are there, you're like, okay, so it's a I screaming understand. off pit. <laughs> okay, so let's let's throw a spanner in the works, right? Mm -hmm. So you said singers. I, I say singers, singers DJs, DJs, rappers. DJs are getting more singers? Than sure. rappers. Then DJs and then rappers. Singers, DJs, and then rappers. Well, what about what are the, about the gym instructors? I wish Venant was here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. Come on. But I don't know if you I feel like... I don't you've know, never? Never? No? Huh? No. Yeah? Yeah? Uh? But no, like, I've, I've never yeah. seen it happen. I, I would well, I've never a, heard a gym, about it. A gym instructor, it. babe, slapped me out like... That, that's that's like that's my that's that's, that's okay, no, I see that I see that yeah. me out. Exactly. Yeah. If you're, but if you're watching this if you are a tall muscular babe six five and above please come and dominate me <laughs> <laughs> I want an Amazon mommy so I'm just putting this out there <laughs> six five how tall is LeBron oh my god oh no, like six six nine I guess <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Why are you friend. thinking of LeBron, bro? No, I was trying to I was trying to like understand I have, the height. Hey, Ashley has a friend. <laughs> Trust you, me. She you has, know, you know who I'm talking about. I used to work out next to Ma her. She's a muscle You, God she's damn it. Fine. Oh and yeah, she's that tall. one is from the Amazon. I think yeah, she's like exactly. six two. Fine. So and tall. like you, you actually like this kind of stuff. Like nah. you want people to control you. Brian of Tath, come and find me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like again, like um. So like, are you, are you those kind said, of? Are you those I kind no of guys? Type, but still. <laughs> I you got a type. type. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're you're the kind of guy, essentially, from what you're saying, and I'm assuming you wouldn't mind like a six five woman like tying you up and stuff. Please, hey. Hey. say please. Like, hey. Listen to the man. Come and find me. Come and find. Come and find me by the if, 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 my six five Amazonian princess. I'm looking for you. <laughs> but you, Calvin, you wouldn't. What? You wouldn't. Six five. <laughs> okay. Or well, how tall do you want her to be then? <laughs> if height is the issue, <laughs> <laughs> four one. <laughs> oh, that's what you're into, is <laughs> So you let a four one tie you up? No, and hell no. The boss. Me, on, me on people like, I'm leaving the house. I'm like, yo, I'm leaving. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> no one to tell me what to do. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Christ. you're down there. Nah, no, nah. I'm sorry. Wow. No, that's, I don't. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem. Yo, like, me, everybody it, equal it, rights, it, man. Looks like but, but honestly. 
Bring but, it in. But I'm I'm not, I'm 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 gonna be honest. If you're six five and you're trying to like, I ain't got time, bro. We can't be like two. We can't be two. You know, two people who are going to hit the top of the of the whatever Calvin of the door. Tall. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> How tall oh. are you? Flat. Six. No, yeah. Calvin is tall. For are for you? a guy, okay. Maybe yeah, but I'm you see, he's I'm tall. I'm guy. tall. But here's the thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, bro, I'm like I'll say I'm insecure, fam. Like, here's the thing, bro. You insecure? You? No, I'm, I'm insecure. <laughs> height? If a chick is like, like <laughs> you, you no, I'm not insecure about my height, oh. right? Like, if a chick is Wait, my height, and then she's gonna <laughs> wear like six heels. inch heels, bro. It's fine. <laughs> Have you seen if how I wear heels, I'll probably be the same we, height when as we're in the you. club, when we're in the club and the bill comes, the waiter's giving it to her. <laughs> you wear them dust. <laughs> <laughs> like, clean. Yeah, but they'll be there happy. Toothpick in my mouth, Mazze. Clear it to the Yes, mommy. Clear the bill and clear me. I don't know. What that, imagine it's a bit imagine if you had like a six five girl. Here's the thing. Like, fine, you get a kid. Eighteen years later, number one draft pick in the NBA. That's generational money. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we're on the continent, Bana. They're probably number one. Joel Embiid just won MVP. So that saw, that, 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 that conversation <laughs> is dead. Hashim, Siakam, the list Hakeem is Olajuwon, endless. Like, bro, that's the thing. And we are due a Kenyan NBA star just by probability. We are due one. So. How how good are the Morans now? They're nice. They're nice. Why'd you guys get all silent? I mean, you guys went I'm, from high energy to like... No, nah, like, because again, oh, I'm listening. You get, you're asking about the local league when you are talking about FIBA in the NBA. So no, it, even, it might even take a minute like, to... I watch more you know, like even BAL. Because, you know, come, bring it more than... Mexican, right? Mexican, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 playoff next weekend. But mm. even then, the Morans, I don't think they would like... They might not even be a good BAL team. Mm. But still... Yeah. Decent, no, we have bowlers in Kenya, bro. We have bowlers everywhere. I, I don't think you'd need maybe to be picked up by a team playing the Premier League or playing any league for you to be recognized for your game. Because if, say, you, if you look at the history of basketball, streets, bro, that's mm. where things started from. And you can tell there's so many people who are playing in the street that are better than guys who are playing in the NBA. It's just maybe some opportunities they didn't get. And I'm not taking anything away from guys in the league. No, no, by, by no means, no. I'm just saying that if you use that as a measuring stick to, you know, place us where we are at in terms of talent and the sport, <clears throat> Might be a miss because th there's crazy talent out here. And is maybe BL or the NBA the ultimate goal? No, can go play basketball in China, you know. Yeah, you know. man. <laughs> the Shandong Tigers. So, hey, cool. <laughs> Yo, the China, Liang Dong, man. The Liang Dong Sharks. <laughs> China, chi China's different, man. The Shandong Fighters. Australia, man, you Australia. know. So you can, you can actually have a very successful overseas career in basketball. Mm. And... You you even forget about the NBA or you know BAL. You know you know like like I hear you. It's a remarkable point, but unfortunately, upper core ground man. If you're like dope dope dope, mm. fam, you gotta have the guap. Eh? That's hey, true, not right? Necessarily. Not necessarily. go to the league. No, no. You uh, uh, here's the thing. <laughs> how many guys? How many guys from your yard do you know who are like bad footballers? Like yo, they're bad bad. They could probably do better than Mariga or Olunga, right? Yes. But you guys will never give them that much credit because they've not I gone. know them and they got scholarships. They're playing abroad. Yeah. But, but they didn't live the lives that we live Here's now. something I just want to point out mm. especially when it comes to the whole conversation of street ball to the NBA. Mm. You can be good at handling a ball. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pause. <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 I can relate to that one. Yeah. I can relate to that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, ball handler. Sorry? MVP. No, I mean, I'm, 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 let me talk Skills for on one. Point. <laughs> so here's the thing. You can be good at, like, with the ball. Like, you can score. You can you can dribble. You can do everything. But there's so much more, especially at an elite level, yeah. that goes into the game to the point where you can see guys in the league who are, like, they, they, they're they not very good at the handles. They're not yeah. really good shooters. But they're always getting picked up. They're always getting paid because there's more than just being good with the ball. You have oh, to be true, good true. off the ball. You have to know how to, like, flow space. Floor, floor spacing. Yeah, you have to be good at short creating. You have to be good at like even the whole pick and roll setting screens. Mm -hmm. There are so many things where there are so many situations where you can take a very good like uh, the best and one player mm -hmm. would probably not make it in the wa worst NBA team because yeah. there's so much more go that goes into just being a professional than being good than being talented True. at True. moving the ball, shooting whatever. Yeah, like you have to be way more to make it to the league. Remember this: uh, how many players in the NBA? Like four hundred. And that's yeah, a bunch, yeah. And mm. that's the, the, the highest Grim. level. Yeah. You know what this guy called Brian Scalabrine? He used to play for the Celtics. White Mamba. Mm. He was woefully bad by league standards, like really bad. Mm. 
but one time he invited guys to come play against him and he beat everyone really badly and he told them i am closer to lebron than you are to me Damn. that's how much of a gap there is between playing in the league and not being out of the league mm. and not making it so yeah that's just my point on no 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 fuck thing fuck yeah I'm, i'm with you on that yo I'm you know crazy that. for guys who who like to hear that whole and one story funny enough it came up in a discussion the other day mm. and you know it's on netflix and all of that yeah, yeah. have you guys watched air by the way not, not yet, yet. Uh, uh, very good reviews very good very reviews. good movie very good movie I actually enjoyed it imagine <coughs> i went to the cinema solo that previous weekend to Did just watch it no man okay. i was attentive the whole damn okay. time but solo movie dates are the best you i didn't know they had that, that eh. I, I, I was taken like to the cinema one time uh, by a baby yeah. uh, years ago Around. and it was like halloween mm. and there was like an event and we were the only two people in the cinema Mm. That movie was so bad we both fell asleep. Oh <laughs> man. This is like, that, was the setup. Setup. <laughs> that was the setup for the joke. Damn, like man. I was like yo you gave us something was that was going to be like not not coming. Not coming. Yeah, you like, made your like, movie huh? Yo me I was, I was waiting for like you like, showed cinema, her something that was scary at, like <laughs> Oh my god. The cinema at Fanari. <laughs> yeah. Like the cinema at Fanari. Oh, that movie yeah. was so awful like I was like fuck we need to like, she woke me up like hey we need to go Marzi. I'm like okay so let's go to the club bus because it was yeah. awful. It yeah. made a good story but, that I, but I'm you know guessing what? in your books was that an amazing day. I still got late so. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> you know you know when you said you said you know when you were setting up and said Halloween was a movie a horror movie that day? It was it was a horror movie. Ah. Oh. But it wasn't like it wasn't like a, a good like horror movie. It was one of those like you have to think about it horror movies. Yeah. I I'm in a movie. I, I am here not to think. Hmm. Like I'm not trying to like you know waste my time Decipher start to things. think about like the symbolism of this and that please like just scare me and let me go home <laughs> <Wow>. yo <laughs> talking about since you said that you you went home and you shifted some organs i want to talk about organs <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's not what he said but wow. okay <laughs> yo no no okay. no my man said his kill rate is stupendous no <laughs> yo yeah he's not letting that one go selena <laughs> gomez you selena gomez um <laughs> Biffin with the lady who gave her ex best friend ex best friend yes who gave her a kidney a kidney yes now they're not talking because selena has been drinking a lot mm-hmm. and this woman feels like yo not entitled on my not on my <laughs> kidney <laughs> yo like what the fuck is that So backstory um Selena had issues with the kidney blah blah she had to get a transplant so her best friend um literally went got tested she was a psychoma match so she said cool I'll give you my kidney um also insight uh, the person who's giving the kidney usually is more affected after the the, the procedure trans- yeah. mm. um than the person who gets the kidney oh really so Um there was a drift from there onwards. Like I've read this story a couple of times from years back when she actually when they did that shit. Um and the drift started by the lady saying now the ex best friend saying how she feels like Selena wasn't appreciative enough mm. that she's given her her kidney. She should do more for her. She should take care of her cuz Selena now got her kidney and she was just like, "I right, cool, I'll come check up on you a few a couple of times. Me let me go do my tours, let me go make my music, let me go live my life." but she still used to check up on her. So her ex best friend was just like you need you need to be here and care for me like 24/7 instead Damn. of going out there and living your life. So the tension had started from way way back. She's done a couple of interviews as well. The best friend. The best friend. Mm. Yeah, talking about how she wasn't the best person caregiver after she gave her her kidney mm. and she was the one who was suffering more than her. <clears throat> Now this story comes out. Firstly, they haven't been talking. So I think it's almost like looking for clouds. Mm. They haven't been talking. This story comes out and she's saying how um basically outing Selena, if I can put it like that, that she's drinking um a little bit too much for someone who has had a kidney transplant. Also, isn't the liver the one that were Okay. Let me not try to be a biologist. <laughs> mm. I mean they they're all organs. They they function together. They, they function together, together yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the liver is the one that's more exactly. prone to damage yeah. when we're talking about alcohol. I shall know. <laughs> liver liver, liver stereosis. Yeah. Yeah. Um so yeah, so now she's come out she said, "Oh, she's not talking to Selena anymore. Like she's cut, cut her off completely because she's drinking too much." So essentially this is like you buying someone something, a gift, and you want to keep saying that I gave them this mm-hmm. gift. And and dictate how they use their gift. Yo, okay. let me tell you, if I was Selena, like I I know this is going to sound so fucking trivial, 
But yo, how much is it that you want for your fucking kidney? Because goddamn, Give it back. there's a black market for whatever. <laughs> You know what? I could even Damn, do you better. Well, I can go get another Yo, one. That's enter, what you're saying. Enter Black Web. What's it called? The Dark, Dark Web. Web. Dark Web. Kidneys for sale. Mad like, Nigerians bitch, come are available. Here. Let's buy you one or some <laughs> shit. Like, how are you going to be out here just outing me like this? What? No, it's, like, it's like me buying a car that is ex-Japan. And the guy in Japan is just telling guys, Yo, Calvin, car come Japan. That's my car. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is incredibly racist. <laughs> But here's the thing, you it, it makes sense like that, Cindy. But again, this is a kidney. You only have two. Yeah. And if the one you have fucks up, now you have to go find another kidney somewhere else. So I feel like again that there's there's a sort there's a sort of entitlement that makes sense because I gave you one of my two kidneys. Because if if one of mine <laughs> failed, I can always live with the other one. But you I know, do not have the. But you know the Bible says she, she chose to give it to her. Yeah. She chose to, she actually volunteered to give her her kidney. She told her, you don't have to wait. I got you, boo. Let me give you my kidney. How is that my fault? Let me tell you, let me tell you, if if Selena was not as famous as she was, she is, I don't think that bitch would have given her the kidney, to be honest. (laughs) But the lesson here is... Because the way she's out here, like right now, oh, my kidney, my kidney, my kidney. Bitch, that kidney been out of your system for a whole minute. (laughs) I that kidney there, it as in, yeah. bro, like, here's the thing. That kidney is pumping. I'm pumping the blood into that kidney. This shit is mine now. You know what I'm saying? I own it. Yeah. yeah. I'm the captain now. Yo, like, my, the body, captain. my body was like, mm. then it just, you know, it, the kidney goes in and it's like, <laughs> start marching. Yo, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like when a deadbeat dad shows up after the sun becomes famous. Yeah. Like, we're talking as easy. We're talking as easy, man. Wow. Yeah. Like there's so many <laughs> ways to look at this like story. This. I Love know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that chick is but, just but, but the point is uh, if you're watching at home, don't give your organs to rich people. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's what true, true, true. true. Or maybe or maybe that chick had a crash on Rema or something. And then wow. she saw that she Calm saw down. that she saw Calm that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you why do you think why do you think money. Ah, why yeah, do you think why do you think mm. bro like uh, yo man you know I'd be Did on this whole you, you, I, I, I'd be on this I'd be on this Hollywood like what do they call like all of this shit where they're saying that yo know, this whole thing to do with Jamie Foxx may be a bit like they're trying to kill black actors at their prime so now <laughs> for me this is yeah, my conspiracy, conspiracy theory <laughs> yo let me even he's put even my, done the le- sign my <laughs> sign <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, from, from the tabloids, you know, on the dark web, what I've been listening to and hearing is that Selena jumped on the remix for Calm Down with Rema because he wanted the kidney donor to calm down. You feel me? Can Yo, we, okay, are we okay, done? Let, let, speaking about music, let me just I take swear it back. I speaking have about one music more and... bad joke left <laughs> no. in me to tolerate. No, hold on, Andy. There's, there's something I just want to talk about because we, we recorded talk. Breaking Hearts Umechoka. on Umechoka. Monday. Umechoka. Yeah. Umechoka. And we were talking mostly about gospel music, which brings it back all the way to what we started talking about, mm-hmm. like the whole mm-hmm. church thing. Um, also listen to Breaking Hearts by yes. Halfari and, and Suki. Uh, Suki. So mm. we were talking about how, and I noticed this the other day, gospel music is kind of horny when you really think about it. It sounds very horny because it's just, it's just like really good R&B that's just... They're replacing the name of the lover with Jesus. Mm. I love you, Jesus. Oh, this I want you inside yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. About. I want you inside me, Jesus. Please cover me with your dash, Jesus. <laughs> no, <laughs> with your yeah. with the body and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I cover me oh with your God. body. Cover with me your with blood. your Holy Spirit. Come He's on. about to be struck by no, lightning. No, but, but, but <laughs> no, but here's the thing. No, 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 no. I actually, <laughs> oh, fair plug, point. Yeah. I agree with you. Plug. Why do you think R. Kelly went and did such a dope? We, um, even Suki brought the point up. Gospel, brought yeah, the point up. yeah, yeah, yeah R. Kelly, Kelly was just up. like, um, R. Kelly was just out there. Then he was like, yo. Into the gospel. Then came back. There's a song by the fucking boys, a Ghanaian, um, like, alternative rap group. They do more, like, comedy rap called Jesus is Coming. And when they're saying, they're saying, like, for the road of the Lord gives in abundance. Those who live from the com- who run from the coming will live in wonderance. No, never knowing what sweet manna tastes like. Do you want to swallow the truth and taste life? For sin is an acquired taste. Man is full of goodness. Don't let it go to waste. The, that thing, if you don't, oh. if you can't read between the lines, it sounds like a really good gospel song. Amen. But it's all about ejaculation. No, but no, no, but I I, I agree because. The Jesus. actual translation of the Bible from Hebrew and Aramaic into now all these other Western and literal languages, it was very sexual. That's why they had to use the imagery and the mm. stories and everything. Mm. It's mad sexual because 
the <laughs> the original writers of the bible were using the actual things that we understand as human beings like sex and love making mm-hmm. to explain spiritual things that you know like how Jesus was using parables in the in the bible because once you understand the story then you can apply the the meaning on this life. other side um. so it was all about self like creating by yourself you know it's as sweet as you know now something like mm-hmm, that because mm-hmm. an example i can use just like afari is if you don't accomplish the desires of your heart you're going to be left with like blue balls or like a stiff stick yes unsatisfied that's what the bible says that's they a very literal uh, like language. and contemporary language but <sighs> th- i've just paraphrased what it says so that's why to understand bible me kwa very tricky like was this for real ama it's highly actually unlikely mean? you know mm. actually so, so, so it's, you pointed that it's out it's highly sexual the whole point of like highly when you sexual. have like frustration like based around religious like how religion is like designed you, you need to have an outlet and your outlet is maybe writing gospel music it sounds like you want to fuck the messiah i don't know if you do but it it does a lot of the, a lot of gospel music sounds very especially when it's more like uh, christian rock or christian pop stuff like that because i know african gospel is still you know, you, you, know, you know what's crazy what's crazy occasionally, occasionally when i'm when i'm driving to work in the morning i'll probably like listen to gospel that's like once in like a month or something today happened to be one of those days so i was like on my playlist was like gospel as i exited the gate so i'll probably listen to like two songs max i'm in the office bro the first one was like gospel from nigeria i was like yo this shit is too noisy Bam. It was like boop 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 boop. Yeah yeah like oh, yeah. I was like yo let me put on some some of that soft worship you know he Slow raised down, me yeah. what 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 mellow I was like hmm, it's nice but I can see what you're saying uh, yo there's like enough rock music out there I mean I mean DNA is really cool gospel like I end like Rudy the guy who used to say na nilikuja na ndaye lazima ilale ndani ya parking exactly <laughs> Yeah. Gospel is kind of <laughs> gospel That's is kind of horny. It's kind of horny. If you if you really think about it, especially cuz I've been listening, I don't know how I got into like a, a bubble where I've been listening to a bit of like early 2000s rock. Mm. But then there's a lot of like artists like um Trinity, Skillet. Trinity. Yeah. Mm. So when you listen to their songs you're like, "Wait a minute." the fuck these niggas just are they trying to fuck because that, that's the first thing i thought are they trying to fuck jesus or what because it sounds also, so sexual yeah, but yeah. it is centered around jesus mm. and you're like this is this is weird because you know also the whole analogy of one of the main analogies of mainly the new testament is the whole vibe of the the church and christ being wedded together so that whole marriage relationship applies everywhere in the bible so if you walk backwards from revelations all the way back to genesis you'll see that everywhere it's always been that comparison are you a theologist like how do you know all this like he's been he's been just girl, dropping mad Christian. facts about the bible no he's not he just studies mm. this so shit I, 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 i did my research because i was very interested and intrigued by these things <clears throat> so i this this is now what i <laughs> or also <laughs> maybe high thoughts <laughs> yeah. but yeah um once that analogy has been applied everywhere cause it's either that or father son mm. it's father son or husband and wife you know the virgins end waiting for the husband to come keep your oil uh, your lamps up at night so that you don't miss the wedding oh, yes. you know all of, when jesus is sending the angels to come and fetch these people cause it's a feast for the wedding and all these things so it's deeply ingrained man we just don't see it and you try preach that in church you try go and be a bit sexual in church on the pulpit you, you'll see people are like koti people are koti kama wengine Christians are the nastiest people on planet earth though if you We've only if you only before, knew what the bible right? actually meant uh, you you be ashamed like maybe maybe you guys know like do you guys know about like adam's first wife i've heard about that Uh, like you know there was this Adam and Eve. Yeah. So the what's it called? The Talmud, it's like ancient Jewish text. It actually says Eve, you know the way Eve was made from Adam's rib. Mm. Eve was made from Adam Adam's rib because Adam's first wife was like nah, I'm I'm not subservient to you. So her oh, first fuck his right no, no, hand. No, no, yeah. Have uh, you watched um, her name was Lilith and she was Lilith. made the same way Adam was made from clay by God like made a man out of clay, made a woman out of clay and then they mm. were together. And apparently and this is I don't know how accurate this is mm. uh because one of our lecturers was telling us this um the reason that they split is because Lilith wanted to be on top during sex 
<laughs> and Adam was like, no, 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 this is too much. So Lilith left the Garden of Eden, I don't know if you go away. And then Adam was like, yo, I need somebody who isn't going to be. Ata kwa sumbua. He later like, just give me somebody who will just listen so to anything I say. So who could take doggy, basically. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh that my movie? God. How long have we been recording? Imona says here. What's that series about the devil? Yo. What's it called? There's a series there many, about the, the devil. Lucifer. Lucifer. Yeah. Lucifer actually, I, I, to some extent, I was just like, this nigga is actually talking the truth. Because some of the, some of the um, episodes are actually from the Bible. And they actually reference a lot of people from the Bible. And one of the few episodes, Lilith came by and Lilith apparently had an affair with uh, the devil at some point now when she was cast away from um, the garden <laughs> Interesting. I like the perspective. Yeah, she was cast away from the Garden of Eden and, such a, and, and Lucifer was just like, come through. You can be on top, honey. Let's go. Mm. So Lilith was the first Any city day. girl. Yeah. So, so, so you're trying we to say... So, so, so in short, you're trying to say Lilith had an affair? With the, the devil. Lucifer. With Lucifer. Oh. Mm. So Lucifer was horny. Of course. And she Everyone was riding was. him and probably holding his horns. Ah. Oh, that's been so the mic's around. Horny. That is a big issue. Stop this shit over. Look this guy, boy. Oh, God. Who's going to see the guy? Your boy. <laughs> your boy. He did. I <laughs> heard you as friends. <laughs> I hey, heard you as first. We didn't do an outro, man. Cool. Those so niggas are, are, are like, get the fuck out. <laughs> All right. So how we do it? <laughs> you you, you <laughs> are thanking Hafari for oh, coming okay, through. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Shout going out to Hafari for coming through, of course, with, uh, you know, all of the piece, pieces of information that he brought. Sprinkle, God. Sprinkle. Nom, 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 nom. Make sure you check Lash out his pod. Yo, you got to uh, plug yeah, it. You yeah, got to yeah, plug it. Check us out on Breaking Hearts. If you want to know more about how horny Christian music is, the episode has dropped yesterday. If you're watching this on a Friday, it came out on Thursday. Yes. We've had, uh, we had an Alokanga in one of the best episodes. Actually, no. Uh, the one on... On Thursday is part two of the conversation we had with Anna Lokanga, one of the best um, instrumentalists, a saxophonist. Uh, she's a very, she calls herself a commercial sax worker. Mm. Very fun episode. Ooh, I like that. Oh, very yeah. funny. Uh, the <laughs> next I one like will that. be the one we'll be talking about the how the Bible is horny. So please check us out. We have some really good recommendations and all the good vibes. It's normal to hang on a Byron Apple to check it through. It's very, it's, it's, very, it's very fun. <laughs> so, um, I'm glad to be back for my once a year visit. I'm like Santa Claus. I show up Where are the me. gifts? Where are the gifts? My presence is a present. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Get, I, need Buzz, get, I need to get a cigar from Buzz. him. Yo, Big C. Ashley. Andy Young. And Rodney Malik Casino. What? Yeah, that's my AKA. Adios. Bye. <laughs>